ITV's Britain Get Talking campaign. It's launched today and it coincides, of course, with World Mental Health Day. Well, last month, Coronation Street's Simon Gregson talked to us on our show and told us that he once suffered up to 12 panic attacks a day during a really debilitating struggle with anxiety. Today, he's catching up with our Tyler to highlight the importance of just talking. I've struggled with my mental health. I've struggled with my mental health. Men are less likely to seek help. Which is a worry because three times as many men die from suicide compared to women. We need to start talking more. Genuinely, I'm not that good at golf. I'm terrible at golf, so this works, this works well. But maybe golf, going out for a massive long stroll, a few chaps getting together, getting them talking, it might be the perfect thing to do. Stop for a little bit of food. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the time that you can do it. I mean, I, I'm really bad and I don't know if I'm gonna make it through every hole, but we can give it a go. Why not? Smurfing. I'm gonna have a bit of a chin mug on the way. It's so ever gonna be great or awful. Oh, I'll show you. Whoa, hello. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that's just that's so sad. Well, it will <laughs> Hey, lunch it in. Steve started on the show about what thirty? What what year was it? Thirty-four years ago, eight and nine. And people would say, I don't know, in this industry, they think that, oh yeah, you must have it all all sussed out and and have your anxiety controlled down to a team. It is quite an anxiety-inducing job because. A, you're forever talking to yourself because you're running your lines and the scenes <laughs> in your head. So you're training your brain to talk to itself all the time. But also when you're doing a scene and it's a long scene, it's an emotional scene, yeah. the thought of you getting your line it wrong. Drains. So you're like, so you know, you're always on state of edge. This has affected you for such a long time, your, your battle with anxiety. I wanted to speak out about it in a bid to try and educate people. Because I didn't know I had an anxiety disorder. No. And it was only until, uh, um, until I, I had a label for what was happening to me physically and mentally that I started to feel better. I felt so much better when I knew what it was. For me, one of the things that triggered my anxiety was some of the childhood trauma that I went through. Some of the things like I, w I witnessed a murder and, uh, you know, I've, I've gone through like losing so many family members. How long did it take you to get, you know, get over that and how, and how did you get over it? I think it's coming to the realisation that I'm not over it. Yeah, for example, last year when I was on Strictly Come Dancing, everybody would always say to me like, oh, Tyler, you, you're so happy, you're so smiley, like your vibe, your energy and this, that and the other. But behind the scenes, I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm, I'm at a real low point here. And only, there's only certain few people that I could talk to. I don't know how, about you, but when I was suffering with mine, I felt like I was me inside, but he would not come out. I was so frightened to do stuff like this or, or any kind of other job apart from my comfort zone job because I was so worried that people wouldn't see me. There was a quote that I read before and it was like, you need to attack your fears daily. And the moment that I attack my fears daily is the moment that I step outside my comfort zone that little bit more. I also think it's great to talk about your feelings with, uh, with people because it kind of triggers them as well. They're like, you know what, I felt like that or I feel like that. And then they get talking because as blokes, we just don't talk. People go, oh, come on, man up. And it's like, but actually, no, oh, hold on a second. If you've had the conversation, a proper conversation about it, then go, actually, I'm not good. Thanks, brain, but I ain't going to go there. Beats is good for the heart as well. But well, yeah. I've gone for the 17 different cheese option. Speaking with Simon was enlightening. He is somebody that I've seen on my TV screens for so many years. Uh, and to hear his story and his battle with anxiety made me realise that it don't matter what sort of walk of life you're from, no matter where you're, you've grown up, no matter what job you do, you can relate on so many different levels uh, just by having that conversation. You know, like we've said time and time again, you know, if we can help just one person, then great. If we can help a lot, then even better. What a fascinating conversation between the two of them and it will be really helpful you can also find lots of advice and support at itv.com slash britain get talking